Hey guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to make sprite sheets in a sprite for your games. And I'll also be showing you how to import them to Unity. So we just open up a sprite here. Just bring you onto the screen. You want to go on new file. And I'll just make mine 32 by 32 for now. And today I'm just going to show you how to animate a simple lightning strike. It's just going to be really simple because I'm not that good at animating. But I'll show you how to export it as a sprite sheet and get it into Unity, the tool I use to make games. So I'll just get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do, as you see here, we're in our first frame. So this is the first thing that's going to happen. So I think I'm just going to leave the first frame blank. You go the plus button here to make a second one. You can see now as many as you want. As sure as I know, but I'll just delete these for now. I made it may have made too many. Alright, so on the second frame, we'll just do I have my line tool here and I've just set it to three pixels. If we just go say like this, you can see if we play it now. It's playing the first frame and then the second one. Now if we press the plus arrow again, you can see if you're selected on the second one, you can create a copy of it. And we can just go like this. You can see it's working. We're gonna go wait. Oh wait. If you press control Z to undo if you make a mistake. I forgot to add the next frame. So then once you're on the next frame, you can just go here, add another frame, and repeat. I'm going to make this one a bit wider. And what you can do to see how each frame looks is you can put on this here. Now, I can't really tell, but you can see, look, it's showing on the next frame. Now, it doesn't really work with this because we're not moving anything. But just, you can use that when you're animating things. But anyway, so are these two the same? No, okay, so I'm gonna add one more, or maybe a few more, like this. Like this. Now if we play, you can see that goes down. So right now I'm going to do, maybe make it shake. So if we use this, uh, it's the top option here. It's like a select box. So if you drag this across, and move it to the right a bit. And add a frame. So now if we play it from here, and I want to right here, I want to add another one and just fill this in using the paint bucket tool to make it white copy it just make it that light blue again and now you can see if we play our animation there's our lightning bolt but now we want to be able to you know put it into unity so how do we do that First, you want to select off this, if you can. Why is it doing this? Oh, because I'm playing. You can't do anything while it's playing, so just make sure to pause it. So you want to go File, Export Sprite Sheet. You want to click Open Sprite Sheet. Export. You can see we have our whole animation here, just laid out in a row. And so, oh, what did I do? And so once you've got your animation here, you want to go File, Save As, set this to PNG file, it's kind of hard to find, but you can just see it there. And set this to, we'll call this Lightning. And then if we press OK, we can now close down Aceprite. If you want, you can save it. I'll just leave it because I already have it downloaded. 
And now, if we open our file explorer, we can see our eight is right there. So what we want to do is we want to open it Unity. This might take a minute. I'll be back when this is loaded. Okay, so we've loaded in here. So now if we open up our file explorer again, and we find our lightning, there it is. Oops, you can just drag it in. If we minimize this now, we can see it's there. It's just loading. You can see right there. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna click on it here. We wanna turn the sprite mode to multiple. We can just set the filter mode to point no filter. And then we set the compression to none. Click apply. Now we can open our sprite editor. And you can go slice, type, grid by cell size. And then how many pixels were in your original drawing. I think mine was 32 by 32. Click slice. Should show each frame. Why isn't this one of them? Sorry. So now if you click apply. You can now close this down. See if we press this arrow now. We have each individual one. And now prepare to be amazed. That's all you do. Just drag it on. Name it, I'll just call this Lightning. And you can save that. And see, we have this here. We just scroll and make this a bit bigger. Now it's going to start on that frame, there's not much we can do about that. But now, you can see if we play. And see it plays in unity and in my most recent video unity ping pong tutorial number two we showed you how you can activate an animation on a trigger so if you want to know how to do that go over and check that other video but anyway now we've got that um i think that's gonna be it for today's tutorial this is a short one but i hope you enjoyed like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.